Hello, my name's John Porterfield of Eco Cars, and another short video clip of a great little Citroen C1. It's a C1 Rhythm, five door, registered the 22nd of December 2008 on a 58 plate. So there's some warranty left with Citroen because it's not yet three years old. So it's not yet due its first MOT. So as per all the C1s and IGOs we've had converted at LPG conversions, this one has also been converted with a BRC gas system. So that's the filler. And this car is going to be used by my colleague Lee. So that's why we've put some stickers on the back bumper, which are easily removable and it won't uh, harm the paintwork of the bumper either. So in the boot, we have the 32 litre LPG tank. So that will hold around 28 litres from empty and take you 275 to 285 miles, depending on what speed you drive, uh, before you need to refill. You've got a 50-50 split on the rear seats which drop down, small parcel shelf which pops out as well. Great little city cars these, rear wash wipe, high level brake light, and with the added benefit over the three door of being a five door of course. So we get some pop out windows in the rear, remote central locking, uh, front airbags in the front two seats and two rear inertia uh, seat belts including Isofix for the baby seat as well. Now that's the spare wheel so obviously uh, that way will not fit in the boot and so we suggest you leave that at home and carry a tin of tyre sealant which is what a lot of manufacturers supply nowadays for cars anyway. Some proper Citroen over mats in all four footwells and just to show you two it's remote central locking as well. Driver's seat is very clean, there are no rips or tears or stains to any of the fabric or upholstery. Again, two nice front over mats in the footwells. Uh, being the rhythm, so as well as remote central locking, we get electric windows and we've got some sort of manual adjustment on the wing mirrors as well. So, looking around the inside of this uh, Citroen C1 rhythm. We've got a single shot CD player with an iPod connection and uh, all the normal radio controls. Heated rear screen, hazard warning lights, speed of the fan, temperature and direction of the airflow. There is also a small 12 volt power point. There is no cigarettes, uh, smokers pack fitters to these cars. It doesn't smell of smoke in here at all, but a useful 12 volt power point. So a couple of uh, cup holders, coin holder, Five speed manual gearbox and the gear gate is in very nice condition, no signs of any wear or tear to the gator. And really are a great place to be, great to drive, not boring in the least. Well, along with a front passenger airbag and of course a driver's airbag as well. Now that is the all important LPG switch. So I just put the ignition on and you'll see the red light at the top denotes it's going to start up on petrol. Now, I've got the door open today because it's quite hot, but after I'd say another two seconds it'll turn to amber, then turn to green, and there we are running on LPG. So it's as fast as that once the engine is warm. Now the last light flashing denotes we're on the last bit of LPG, so when that starts to flash you've got another 60 miles until you actually run out of LPG. Uh, when you run out, the system will flash. You'll get an audible uh, beep from behind this switch and it automatically defaults back to petrol. But at any time, you can turn the system off. And there we are running on petrol. So then that will stop the beep when you've run out uh, of LPG. So then when you fill up with LPG, obviously you turn the system back on click from the boot, turns to amber, turns to green, and then there we are back on LPG. So all of these four lights will illuminate and stay lit as a fuel gauge when you are full of LPG. So we've used the BRC system very successfully for these C1s, works extremely well. The warranted mileage on this particular C1 is, I'm just focusing, 17,500 and 78 miles backed up by uh, two service stamps. Um, I've forgotten to bring the book with me today but all the details are on the website 
for the service intervals for this C1 so we guarantee the mileage and it will be a little higher as my colleague will be using this on a daily basis. But in the rhythm we get a small speedo at the top as well which uh, works very well indeed. Normal uh, controls for the wipers and the indicators and the lights are on this side. So looking under the bonnet of the C1, we've got the uh, BRC vaporizer, which is down there, the gas rail with the three gas injectors, and we also fit a flash lube system, a valve saver liquid, which lubricates the top end of the engine, just as a belt and braces measure to make sure the LPG doesn't cause any damage to the valves. This is uh, HPI clear, there's no signs of any accident damage whatsoever, that's the BRC engine control unit drives like all the other C1s and Igos we've sold, drives very well indeed. So just finally walking around uh, this C1, I'll just point out any imperfections. Before we do that, I'll just take you for a short test drive. All right, welcome to the test drive. So I'll just start this uh, C1. So it starts on petrol, you hear a click from the boot, there we go, and uh, turns to amber, turns to green. I know you can't see the switch at the moment but we're now we're in on gas so put it in first gear and pull away no snatching to the clutch it pulls nice and cleanly um, forgot to mention as well this was converted to LPG last week so we're talking where are we 20th of September it was converted so it's under warranty till the 20th of September 2013 so two years warranty on the LPG system and under warranty with Citra until uh, the end of December this year. So I'm just going to stop at the traffic lights have just suddenly appeared. So it pulls up nice and straight, no undue noises. And pulling away again in first, second gear. And we're now going to go through some water. <laughs> Fourth, and even in fifth gear, 40 miles an hour, it uh, all helps with the economy, keeping the revs down, and uh, they just roll along, roll along very nicely. So into fourth gear, it's off the brake, turns in, very clean, no clonks or noises from any of the suspension, and uh, it's a very pleasurable place to be. Just a one-liter car, but they're not boring to drive at all. I'm slipping into fifth, I'm doing 45 miles an hour, doing 2,000 revs. And obviously that just helps with the economy when running an LPG. The best I've ever had out of a Citroen C1 was 320 miles when we did an economy run to Scotland and that was sat on the motorway at 56 miles an hour. So driven carefully these really can be very economical, uh, more than the average 280 miles. So I'll just pull up now. So it pulls up nice and cleanly. I'll just finish off now with a walk around the car. So welcome back from the test drive. So uh, it looks rather nice in this black. It's a metallic black. The corners are fine. There's usually scuffs to corners of some C1s, but this is fine. There are four very good Michelin tyres on all four wheels. Lots of tread left on that one. Uh, the wheel trims, very often these tend to be scuffed, but these are all nigh on perfect lots of tread in that front Michelin. Again this one there's a good what four or five millimeters of tread on there. In fact these wheel trims are perfect. I can't see any scratches or grazes on the trims and again lots of tread on that perhaps four millimeters of tread on that rear. So these are Michelin energy tires. So looking around the rest of this car the front is very very clean. There's a tiny tiny scratch there. Nothing that you'd uh, really notice unless I pointed it out. And it's very clean, there are no dinks or dents, there's no chips to the windscreen. The only thing we can comment on, there's been a sticker at some point fitted on this door uh, via Citroen, and so it's left a slight impression, but that's me being really, really picky. I mean, if I wasn't to actually explain that, I don't think you'd ever see it. So apart from that, it really is extremely clean. So if you're looking for an LPG vehicle that costs, we've taxed it till next year, £10 a year to tax. Group 1 insurance, 
and in price terms will return about 95 to 100 miles to the gallon because 20 pounds worth of LPG will take you around 280 miles so uh, it really is a great cheap car to run along with Group 1 insurance so if you have any more questions about this or any of our LPG or hybrid vehicles feel free to contact me anytime thanks for watching